In this video we are going to talk about how to export and import virtual machines in Hyper-V using PowerShell. The first thing we should do is of course create a couple of test machines and I will create two virtual machines and for one of them I will also create a uh, checkpoint. Let's connect to HV01 using PowerShell Remoting. And we are going to run these three commands. Now, if you have already uh, virtual machines that you can test on, you don't need to do this. But in my case, I don't have anything for testing. And now you can see these are the virtual machines. We are ready to continue. And in order to export uh, a machine, let's first create a folder where we store the export. And the actual export itself is done using this command. We just give it the path and the virtual machine to actually uh, export. And uh, basically this was it. If we look in the export folder on HV01, you can see the folder with the virtual machine. Now uh, we move on to HVS01, the second server. On this one, let's first create a folder where we copy the machines, import for example, and we have to copy the test vm1 folder to the import folder on hvs01. And now we have three possible commands that we can use to import this machine on the second server. We can import the machine and leave all the files exactly where they are in the import folder. We can also, if we want, import the machine and copy the files to their default locations. But for the virtual hard disks, we can copy them wherever we want. I will choose this one. Let's copy and paste it and uh, we have to give it the ID of the virtual machine which you will find in uh, the folder and this is it. Now the machine should be imported on HVSO1 and let's quickly check with Hyper-V Manager and we have it right here. So uh, we managed to successfully import a virtual machine. Now besides uh, exporting and importing actual VMs, in Windows Server 2012 R2 you can also export a snapshot of a virtual machine. For example, let's consider that you upgraded a specific application. Before upgrading you made a snapshot, but you have the feeling that something is not working the way it was and you're not sure. You could take the snapshot, export it, import it somewhere else, have a look at how the application ran previously and uh, make your decision. So then let's see how we can also export a snapshot. First of all, remember that when we created the two VMs, TestVM2 also has a snapshot created. And we are going to use this command to get the snapshot. But first, let's uh, connect with PowerShell Remoting again to HV01. So then, let's uh, get the snapshot. And now, using export VM snapshot, we can actually export that uh, snapshot of the VM. And one important thing to Remember, in Windows Server 2012 R2, when you export a virtual machine or a snapshot of a virtual machine, the VM can be online, it doesn't have to be shut down. Let's export it. Now again we have to copy the folder that we just exported to the second server. 
let's connect to the second server and let's import this machine And the first thing you notice is that the virtual machine name is called snap1 not test vm2. This is what you have to know. You have to change the name afterward if you want, but the virtual machine will be imported with the name of the snapshot. And this was basically it for working with snapshots using PowerShell on Windows Server 2012. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share it. Also consider subscribing so you are notified when I put out new videos and thanks a lot for watching.